Hi, Christina. How are you today? Hi, Dana. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm great. How about you? Yeah, I'm fine. I welcome you in this uh, small speak about uh, a conference. Christina, I know about you that you are originally from Romania and yet you work, live and, uh, in Le and live in Prague in Czech Republic in my country. What's your professional background? How did you get to Prague? And can you tell me about it? Um, I moved to Prague in 2004, immediately after I finished the Faculty of Journalism at the University of Bucharest. So originally I come with a journalistic background and in 2010, I moved into people development, training, coaching and mentoring. Yeah, oh, oh I, I can see your story as a very inspiring, inspiring story, success story like American dream a little bit. A little girl from the Romania mountains who became uh, become successful in big world of business, big, uh, uh, you are speaker on global uh, conference of EMCC now. Thank you very much uh, for, what, for, 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 for pointing this, yeah. Yeah, what was the most challenging for you? Um, indeed, I come from Transylvania, from a small village in Transylvania, and I guess the journey until today has been has been quite long. But I guess that what it has in common is the grit. I, I, I have always had a head of my own. Um, and uh, when I was confronted with the challenge, I tried to find a way around it um, and to turn it into an opportunity. And as it happens, when I lost my job in journalism, I started my career in people development. Um, and it seems to be the one of the best things that ever happened to me. So I feel very privileged to be here. Mm -hmm. And in my you are speaker and uh, um, how did you get to mentoring and people development professional from journalism? Back in 2010, when I was still working in journalism, um, we had an economic crisis and the magazine where I worked was closed. So I decided to go on my own and to create my own company, Media Education CE, where I started to train people in how to talk to journalists. And this is how little by little my um, training practice and then my mentoring and coaching practice um, developed to embrace communication skills, emotional intelligence and leadership. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I would like to know, you say that you are a mentor, What's, how do you perceive the difference between mentoring and coaching? Indeed, I do much more mentoring, and that is because of my journalistic background. So people come to me and they ask me, how can I get my name in the newspaper? How can I write a good article that would, you know, profile me? And um I'm, I'm, in that case, I really need to use my specific expertise to guide them through the process. When someone comes with a vague idea, you know, I would just like to become more visible. Well, in that case, I can coach them to really clarify what they mean. And perhaps if down the road they need some mentoring, um, I can intervene with that as well. Yeah, thank you. So uh, not only, only work is our life, uh, what's your hobby? How do you relax? Yeah, well, I'm a, I'm a covered introvert. So I'm very happy when I'm on my own. I have a dog and two cats. Um, and I'm very happy to just lie down, read a book and be surrounded with them. Um, and of course, when it's no, when we have no pandemic, I love to travel, spend time with my family, um, or just lie down by the beach is one of the things that are really a balm for the soul. <laughs> okay, fine. I, yeah, and Christina, uh, what's your what's uh, my message of your contribution of, to the conference this year? So what I want to bring our colleagues is my expertise from the point of view of a journalist, how journalists think and what you as coaches and mentors can do to get your names in the papers. I am very convinced that when you do that, it can have a positive impact on your name, on your practice, but also on the quality and visibility of our profession. So when we, we muster the courage to go and meet the journalist, we really do a bigger good for yourself, for your life, but also for our profession. And that's why I'm happy to put my former skills um, to the disposal of, um, to the service of our colleagues and uh, the future of our profession. Thank you, Christina. Thank you for, for the speaking the speech. Uh, I'm looking forward to your session. I will be there, I'm sure. And good luck. Thank you for having me here. Look forward to seeing you at our remote conference. 
it was nice to see you. Bye-bye. Goodbye.